Hey everybody and welcome to the next installation for the project to build a data analysis library from scratch in Python. This video is going to cover setting up the development environment. So in the previous video we opened up our project in VS Code and we opened up the readme markdown file. So this file contains all of the instructions that are necessary to complete the project and you should keep it open at all times whenever you're completing the project. <clears throat> so if you scroll through here, you'll see that we've actually already completed uh, the first few sections. We've already covered them. And soon you'll get to the section on setting up the development environment, and that is what we are going to cover in this video. So what exactly is a development environment? Well, it's simply, uh, it's simply an environment where you develop software and where the software gets executed. So I always recommend creating a new environment whenever you start a new project. Now, whenever we create a new environment, this will isolate it from any other part of your file system or any other previous, uh, any other installations of Python and any other environments that, that uh, you already have. So for instance, when we create a new environment, we'll be sure to know exactly what um, what libraries are in there, what version of Python is in there, and have more security and more confidence that our code will work with the current specifications. And then, hopefully, we can set up this environment on other systems and have it uh, uh, and, and replicate the environment in other systems so that our code will work in other systems as well. Alright, so I'm going to be using a tool called Conda to set up the development environment. Now Conda is, uh, is more well known as a package manager, but it can also uh, create environments. So if you do not have the Conda tool, then you'll need to download it. Now Conda is not the only tool that creates environments, but it is a popular one and it is one that I am going to use. So the company that creates Conda is called Anaconda, and they're very well known for the Anaconda distribution which is a distribution of Python packages that contain um, um, most of the popular data science libraries. Now, whenever you install Conda, you will automatically have an environment called uh, base, so there will already be an uh, environment there for you. But, but when we start development, we want to have our own environment. So we're, gonna, we're just about to create our own uh, development environment. And there are actually a few ways to create environments with Conda itself. So I'm going to use what's called a YAML file, this environment.yaml file. And I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up and put it on this side. <clears throat> so it's a simple text file that gives uh, some instructions on how to create uh, the environment. Number one is the name of the environment. So here we're simply going to name it pandas cub. And then uh, under the dependencies section, we have the version of Python. So we're going to pin the version of Python to 3.6. And then we're going to also install pandas, Jupyter, and PyTest. So we're not going to um, be strict on the versions here. They will just install whatever the latest version of these are. So our package isn't um, going to be so uh, fragile that will depend on very specific versions of these libraries, so we'll be a little bit lenient here, so it'll install pandas, Jupyter, and PyTest. But it will, stand, it will also install all the dependencies of pandas, Jupyter, and PyTest, so there'll be many, many other libraries that will be installed. The main dependency of pandas is a library called NumPy, which is a dependency for many of the data science packages in Python, or many of the scientific computing packages in Python. Okay, so with that said, we will go ahead and use this YAML file along with the Conda uh, environment tool creator uh, to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and if you go to view and then you click on terminal, you can actually open up a terminal right here and issue commands from here. So it actually opens up in our current working directory, which is very nice. Now you'll see that for me anyways, in parentheses, uh, preceding the prompt is the name of the current 
environment. So uh, here I am in base. So to create a, a new environment with this YAML file, you simply enter the command conda n create dash s uh, dash f and then the environment.yaml. So um, there are many, many things you can do with Conda. It is a very complex tool and very flexible um, for managing packages and creating environments. So this is just one particular command that will create a, an environment and it will use this file to do the environment creation. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. I've actually already created this environment because it will take, um, it can take a minute or two to uh, download all of the, all, all the contents of that environment. Now, when you create a new environment, you are not inside of that environment. Okay, so uh, it is not what's called active. So there's always an active environment. And right now, the base environment is active. And actually, you can see here where the environment was actually downloaded. So it's in this uh, folder over here within Anaconda 3 in this ends folder under pandas cup. So this is a completely isolated area in your file system that will not be contaminated by any of the other uh, installations you may may have created or any of the other environments on your machine. So if we do conda and list, this is a command that will list all of the environments on this machine. And you can see I have a few other environments besides uh, besides base and pandas cub. So the current environment will always have a star next to it and then you'll have a location in your file system where that environment is. So base is our current one. Um, we want to activate pandas cub. So to activate pandas cub you'll simply issue the command pandas, oh no, pandas uh, conda activate pandas cub. Yeah. Conda activate in the pandas or in the environment name. So now that I've activated it, you'll see that pandas cub is now preceding my command prompt. And if I do conda and the list, again, you'll see that that star has moved to pandas cub, and this is where the environment is located. Okay, so that has created the environment, and now I've activated the environment. Now, you should only use this environment to develop this library. Once you are done with this, uh, with this session, you're going to want to deactivate this. So it only uses this. So conda deactivate is the command to return to your default environment, which will very likely be base. So that's um, how you get started with uh, creating an environment and activating uh, the environment. So, um, and we'll be uh, always developing within the Pandas Hub environment. All right, so that does it for this one.